Let's get to Bob Pisani now with today's ETF Edge, and it's been quite a run, Bob. It's been one heck of a run, Scotty. Gold is one of the star performers this year, up 13 percent to an historic high, outperforming stocks and even bonds. What is driving gold? Let's talk to one of the world's great gold experts. George Milling Stanley is the chief gold strategist at State Street Global Advisors. George oversees and helped launch the Spider Gold Shares, GLD. That's the world's largest gold ETF. 20 years ago when he was at the World Gold Council, and I covered that one. We go back a long way. Good to see you. Why is gold hitting a new high? I think it's a whole bunch of reasons, never just one thing. Uh, we've got decent jewelry demand throughout the emerging markets. China's economy is recovering. We're looking for a rebound there. Um, we've got good, solid central bank demand. Um, and investment demand seems to be coming back. It's been there in bars and coins. It's also coming back in gold ETFs so, right now. So China demand strong, yep. India demand strong. They're yep. the two biggest consumers. And central banks are buying. Yep. OK. Uh, are young people buying gold? I keep getting asked all the time. Is this is this uh, here in the United States? Do they have any interest or is this an old old fuddy duddy kind of thing? I, I always thought it was my cohort and older, right? The oldest ba baby boomers and even older than that that understood gold best. But State Street did a survey just recently and we found out that millennials had overtaken not just Gen X, but also my generation, the boomers as well. They have much more enthusiasm for gold and they own more gold than we do. Why do they own? What is the enthusiasm based on? Why are they excited? I, I, I think that they realize the real benefits of diversification. They realize that, you know, gold has this twofold promise. It can, over time, it can help to enhance your returns. And all the time, it is going to be reducing volatility, reducing risk. That's a great twofer. But there's, got a, there's a lot of competition out there, even for young people's dollars. Bitcoin, Bitcoin ETFs, isn't that not competition for gold? Do you, do you have to push, advertise gold more now that, that the Bitcoin ETFs are out? Or is that think, not I don't not think the case? so. They do different jobs, you know? Basically, the contribution that, that Bitcoin, whether they're ETFs or in any other format, make to portfolio performance is based entirely on returns. It doesn't have that reduction in volatility, which is one of the main reasons that, uh, that people like gold. And what about gold as a hedge against inflation? You and I have been talking about this for 20 years. The academic evidence is really very mixed, <laughs> that it's not necessarily a hedge against inflation, yet people continue to believe that. What, why are people holding on to gold right now? Is it a hedge? I think, it, I think it's a hedge against inflation. I think it's a hedge against potential weakness in equities and in the dollar. I think that all of those things are really important. And the important thing is the real purpose of gold in terms of being a hedge against inflation, gold is a very good protection against sustained high inflation. Inflation over 5% a year for more than two years, gold really performs very well. Anything other than that, not necessarily. These central banks, why are they so interested in suddenly buying more? They've always held gold, but why are they buying it all of a sudden? They seem to be pushing up their holdings. Yeah, I think emerging market central banks have come to the realization that they own more than two-thirds of their official reserves in U.S. dollar-denominated debt and less than 5 percent in gold, and they think that is a dangerous, a dangerous skew. In, so even central banks have to diversify. We always talk about diversifying here on CNBC. Even central banks have to diversify. Bob, it's good for you. It's good for me. It's good for every investor, including central bankers. <laughs> George, good to see you, as always. we got much more coming up on gold and where to invest coming up on ETF Edge. That's 1.10 p.m. Eastern time, etfedge.cnbc.com.